In a world where technology is ever expanding, various forms of media, including film, are using this to their advantage, with the visual effects industry experiencing a recent boom in activity as more and more films rely on it to aid their storytelling. One such company benefiting greatly from this goes by the name of Framestore. Framestore was founded in 1986, but later split off into different sectors for different forms of media. In 1994, a division solely responsible for film visual effects was set up. Since then, this division of Framestore started work on feature films like Goldeneye and The Borrowers, before moving on to the popular TV series Walking with Dinosaurs, that clocked in at almost £38,000 a minute to produce, earning itself a Guinness World Record. Framestore got the job because initially Industrial Lights and Magic were approached, but said their working fee would be over £6,000 per second. Years down the line, Framestore has recently made a name for itself, creating the visual effects for titles like The Dark Knight, Harry Potter, Avatar, Gravity and many, many more. Before learning more about Framestore, I decided to speak to Sid Bennett, director of the VFX heavy film The Dinosaur Project, about his thoughts on visual effects in the British film industry. He said, A really good understanding of VFX is paramount for directors at the moment. This certainly seems to be more and more the case in recent years, with the success of Gareth Edwards' Monsters, and more recently, Alfonso Cuaron and Framestore's very own success of Gravity. In 2008, Framestore won their first visual effects Oscar for The Golden Compass, and now their second Oscar for their work on Cuaron's hit space film. Cuaron had previously worked with Framestore on Children of Men, and seeing the results of their work, decided to hire them on to produce the groundbreaking visual effects for Gravity. Before production began, Alfonso gave them his vision of the film from start to finish, with this idea being so complex that the technology required to make it possible didn't even exist yet. And so new techniques in filming, moving and lighting actors were developed by Framestore. To see just how revolutionary gravity was in terms of technology, I attended a lecture at Ravensbourne held by Mike McGee, co-founder of Framestore, who worked out that if you rendered gravity on one computer and you wanted gravity finished today, it would have had to start rendering in 5000 BC. Even a few years ago, making a 90 minute photorealistic CGI space film just wouldn't have been possible, and with it, neither would Alfonso's vision, showing how visual effects have changed the film industry positively, working side by side with storytelling, as opposed to taking over it. After hearing about Framestore from Mike's lecture, I decided to get in touch with a member of Framestore one to one. I managed to contact and talk to Jeff Newton, who is currently a senior lighting technical director at Framestore's visual effects branch. He has worked on films like Avatar, 300, Iron Man 3 and Gravity. When I asked him about whether or not he thinks Framestore has revolutionised visual effects, he said, Framestore's work on Gravity has or at least will revolutionise visual effects in the near future, but I have to say that Framestore was integral to the making of the film at every stage of the process from the very earliest pre-production, through the shoot and of course, post. It can't really be said anymore that visual effects are merely a post-production process. Finally, I decided to ask about the British visual effects industry and its position in the world of film. He said, When it comes to visual effects, we seem to be riding the crest of a wave. Partly it's because the British government is continuing its programme of tax subsidies to the film industry, while the state of California hasn't been able to which has moved a lot of film work that would have been done in Hollywood previously over to London. To say tax policy was the only thing bringing work over would be incorrect. It's also clear that visual effects work carried out in London is among the best anywhere in the world. His final conclusion was that It's not so much the case that visual effects are changing in the British film industry as the British film industry is changing in favour of visual effects. Even though what Jeff said is just one individual's opinion, it's helped me further understand just how the British film industry is changing. We've seen just how London managed to establish itself as one of the leading locations in the post-production industry, how far computer-generated imagery has come in just the last few years, and also how Framestore has set a milestone in the world of visual effects. <laughs>